live from Tennessee Basketball Media Day. I'm joined first by Galen Campbell. We'll be joined all afternoon for this one hour with players here live from Media Day. Galen, you're up first here in Knoxville. Just tell everybody about yourself and what you're ready for this season. Um, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. It's my junior redshirt year. Uh, I'll be graduating this year, so, you know, uh, you know, probably next year I'll probably uh, be a GA next year. So, you know, I was really looking forward to probably this my last year playing. So, yeah, um, I'm really uh, looking forward to this season with Coach Tanner and the new staff. I mean, I, I really like those guys, man. I really do. I got a lot of respect for them. And so I'm really, uh, you know, I've got nine newcomers, you know, and um, they're all good dudes, man. So, yeah, I'm ready for the season. As a local guy, how cool is it to be, to get to wear that orange and white and represent everybody that's played basketball in Knoxville, but your school, Fulton, and everybody here in the city? Um, it's good, you know, because it's like, 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 like a lot of people tell me, like, it's like a dream for most most people, like my cousin. Like, they all say it was like a dream of theirs, you know, so it's good because, you know, like, it's like I'm doing something with a dream for a lot of kids around the area. So, I mean, it's, it was good, you know, it's a dream for mine, too, you know, do something for the, the home state. I mean, it's, it's a blessing, really. Talked a little bit about Coach Tindall, but what, what's that been like, him welcoming you in, or you guys welcoming, welcoming him in as a coach, and then him building a relationship with you guys as players? I mean, it's been great. You know, Coach Tindall always talking about family, but it's just not it's just not just talk. You know, it's actually it's actually action. So, I mean, it's been great. Like, with Coach Tindall and the coaching staff, I mean, it's been it's been a smooth ride, a smooth transition. Man. I mean, I'm thankful for it because I know a lot of times it can be, you know, a little different for most guys, but I think – like I think for the guys that stay and with the new coaching staff, I think I think everyone like it's been smooth for everyone. If you have a question for Galen or for any of our players this afternoon, just check out the questions bar on the right side of your screen. Galen, you a lot of new teammates this year. What have you done and been able to do to welcome those guys in and get them acclimated to Tennessee? Um, well, you know I'm from here, so I, you know, I try to like look out for the new guys, you know, and like you know if they need a ride or anything or try to go to the place, you know I, I know where everything is, so. It's been good. I mean, but the, with the new guys, I feel like they've had a like a smooth ride. In. I mean, it's more new guys than you know returning players. So, right. you know, that can be a little different. But it's been smooth because everyone's like, you know, where everyone just loves basketball. Everybody's good dudes. And we're just, you know, we're trying to accomplish a goal. You know, we're trying to win an SC championship. And so, you know, I mean, it's just it's just been good, really. Like I'm, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed the ride with the new guys. Like they're like brothers to me. I mean, it, it's just been real good. Real, real. Practice started. Last week, what's that been like so far? How's practice gone for you and for all the guys? Practice, practice is good. I know, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We're trying to get better and everything, but practice is good right now. You know, we're grinding. We really are. Coach Taylor has us grinding. So I mean, we're just trying to get used to this new, um, new system. You know, up tempo system. You know, fall back into the matchup zone and you know, new offensive system. So I mean, it's the difference from this year. It's like it's not like you have any. Guys that already know the system, and you can kind of teach the new guys. Everybody's kind of new to the system, so we're just all learning it together. So it's going good. Well, it's exciting. I know we're excited. We talked about it a little bit earlier, but one of our watchers right now wants to know what does it mean to be a Knoxville native and play for the Vols? Just, just tell us about that again. I mean, it means everything, really, because you know, that's, it was one of my dad's dreams. You know, my dad played in MTSU. He's, he's from here, and. So for me to play for here, I mean, it was like a dream for my dad. Like, I mean, every time like I run out, he's like, he's, he's smiling. And him and my mom, like, it was just a dream for them, you know, being from Tennessee. It was just a dream, especially East Tennessee, you know. And it's just, it was just a dream. I mean, it's a blessing. That's all I can say. Like, I, I believe on you. Like, like I, love, I love University of Tennessee. We loved having you here, and we appreciate you being a Vol. And good luck in this. Your redshirt junior, the senior season. Yes, sir. Good luck this year. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's Galen Campbell. We'll be back with another guest in just a few moments. And we're now joined here at midcourt by Dietrich Mostella. Again, I'm Brian Rice of UTSports.com. If you have a question, just type it in on the right side of your screen, and we'll answer it. First, Dietrich, welcome to Tennessee. What's the transition been like for you? 
Um, it was tough at first, but everything fell into place, so it's pretty good. You enjoyed getting to know Coach Tindall. Tell me about that relationship that you built with him over the time that you've known him. Me and Coach Tindall have a very good relationship. I go talk to him when I need to talk to him about basketball or things off the, off the court, so our relationship is pretty tough. What's it, what has practice been like so far? I know you've been working out on the court since the summer, but really since the official practice started this week. Um, practice is just practice. Like It's going to be tough, but everybody, we keep fighting to get better. So it's been pretty good. Just tell us a little bit about your background. I think it's one of the newcomers, people interested to get to know you a little bit. Um, I really I really don't have a background, but <laughs> I really don't have one, but I'm just – Come to Tennessee just to get better and play basketball. What are you measuring at so far? Um, sports management. You enjoying that and getting to know people on campus and around? Yeah, sports management is pretty good. What are you looking for? Most things I'm looking forward to my team, watch my team partners get better every game and just doing the simple things to keep winning. All right. One question we have here from John. Put that up on the screen. What's your vertical? 39.5. Have it measured down to the – well, do you keep track with it and how you how you develop with it? Not really. I just – I ain't know we was going to um, do a vertical test. I just ran and jumped for real. That's the <laughs> thing I did. All right. Well, thank you, John, for your question. Thanks, Dietrich, for uh, joining us here on the on the Media Day live chat. We appreciate it, bro. Good luck this season. Thank you. Next up will be Kevin Punter. He's coming up to the set right now. How you doing? How you doing, Kevin? Kevin? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brian Rice, UTSports.com. Fans, if you have a question for Kevin, just click on the right side of your screen. Kevin, you're coming in from State Fair Community yeah, College. Fair. What's the transition been like coming to Tennessee? Uh, it's, it's been great. You know, of course, it's going to be the, those bumps in the road. But, you know, it's been great. You know, I put on 20 pounds, and, you know, the transition's been well. I love it out here in Knoxville. Playing for a great coach at Tindu, got great teammates around me. No complaints at all. No tell, complaints. tell me a little bit about the relationship you built with Coach Tindall as you were going through the recruiting yes. process and coming to Tennessee. Uh, actually, I've known him since he was at Morehead State. And I was in prep school at the time. He took me to go to Morehead State. So we kind of was familiar of one another. So I kind of knew him a couple of years back then from that type of connection. And since then, when I decommitted from the zoo, it was kind of like we got in contact. And it's like, you know, it just went from there, really. We have a couple of questions put up here. Um, let's start first with Matt. He selected here, so it goes up at the top. Or, what about Tennessee appeals to you the most? I'd probably say the color orange. <laughs> you love the orange? Yeah, yeah, the color, the color is beautiful. The color is great. All right. Why do you wear number zero? Oh, man, I uh, just wanted to be a little different this season. I, uh, my high school year, I wore 34, I wore 10. And I just wanted to just change it up a little bit. And I really wanted to pick a number nobody had from last year. So. All right. And then this question comes from Gus. Did you ever play point guard in high school? No, nah, I never played point guard in high school. I used to dribble the ball off here a lot. But I, I was never really an actual PG. But I will kind of be taking a role on here. What's a, What's been developing that role been like in, in getting accustomed to that position that you, yeah. made, that you haven't played before? Yeah. You're gonna have to do it in the SEC. Yeah. Um, just you know, and it's a challenge, and I embrace the challenge. But me, it's just got me working hard in the gym with ball handling skills, just being a lot more vocal and making sure guys in the right positions, and pretty much knowing all five spots on that court. So I think I've been doing a pretty good job at it, and I, I continue to run it and enjoy it. A lot of fans and teams look mm -hmm. towards their point guard as a leader. What have you yeah, been able yeah. to do to develop that leadership skill? Just being a lot more vocal and making sure everyone's on the same page and making sure, you know, if there's a problem in the court, you know, just just coming to, come to a conclusion as a point guard and making sure all five guys in that court is all on one page so we can be the best, you know, on that court in the right side. Said you love orange. What does it feel like to put the jersey on for the first time it today? It feels great. You know, something you dream about when you're a little kid. You know, you watch it on TV, NCAA tournament, and it, is, it feels great to put this on with your name on the back. I have a couple more questions here. Okay. This is from Mitchell. What's your favorite go-to move? Oh, uh, man, probably a one, uh, one or two dribble pull-up. You can turn right or left. Yeah. Does it feel like to hit that shot over somebody? 
feels great. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll take one more. What are the transitions from NYC to Tennessee? Um, it's a lot slower pace here. I mean, to be honest, I've been all over the states, mm -hmm. all over. So it's not for me. As long as I have basketball mode, I'm always comfortable, no matter where I am. So, but I actually like it. I get back home. It's a lot faster pace, but out here it's a little slower, a little bit more calm. So you know, I enjoy it out here a lot. Well, it's great to have you here in Knoxville. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you play this season. And it, very nice to meet you. The fans, I know, appreciate it yep. as well. Appreciate that. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. That's Kevin Potter joining us. We have another player set to join us here in just a moment. This is the Tennessee Basketball Google Hangout. We're here live from Media Day at Brad Pavilion. Brian Rice with you this afternoon, giving you the fans a chance to ask questions of some of our student athletes here at the University of Tennessee. Freshman forward Jabari McGee will come up. Step on up to the seat. Jabari, welcome to the Google Plus Hangout with our Thank fans. You. First of all, welcome to Tennessee. What's your favorite part so far? Uh, I love every day. I mean, it's fun. I didn't realize it was going to be this fun. Fans, if you have a question, just put it up on the right-hand side of your screen, and he will answer them live. You get to put on the jersey for the first time today. Been in Knoxville for a few months. What has your transition to Knoxville been like? Um, what I say? It's just into, like, the college life schedules and whatnot, but it's great for me. I mean, it teaches us to be disciplined. I like it. Uh, Coach Sindel, what's the relationship that you built with him? Like? Oh, man, for some it's great. Like, he, I just own the court, but he teaches so many lessons, like, out the court. Just how to be a man, like, take care of your own business and stuff like that. Like, he's great. Native of Albany, Georgia, Hargrave last year. What was that experience like? I know I know a lot of guys <laughs> – Really love it, but it's very difficult. A very difficult transition. Um, uh, hard grade. It was a different place. I mean, but it it was good for me personally. Uh, I got everything that I could out of it. They taught me how to you know, manage my time and be respectful and all different aspects. I mean, it's great. Now that you're starting practice here at Tennessee, what have, what have you been able to do to get comfortable on the court with these guys? It's, everybody's new for you, but there are a lot of new teammates that are getting together for the first time. I mean. We're all new, but as long as we've been around each other, we've been around each other three, four months now. I mean, we like literally use over 24 hours a day. So we build in relationships, and it shows on the court. Like, you know, we talk through each other, do stuff, and fight through. Um, what game are you most excited to play this season? Hold on. You just want to be out. I just want to play. There's no opponent, though, that you're. I just want, I just want to show what we can do as a team. Some of the preseason projections may not have you guys as high as other teams. What are you? What are, what's the message you want to send out to the fans? Ignore that. You're, you're getting ready to yeah. roll through the schedule. I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, we, we just want to come out here and do everything we can. I mean, you go up to complex and say, "Let's give all you can." Every day for teams. That's all we want. Let's give everything we got. Is there a road trip you're looking forward to to get out in front of some opposing fans? Not really. I mean, I just want to see the whole thing. This is my first time around. I just want to take in all of it. <laughs> well, the Vol Nation certainly is happy to have you here at Tennessee. Yeah. Know you're happy to be <laughs> here. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the court this year. What's the one thing? we got two questions from the fans. Before we get to those, what's the one thing that you bring to the court that you want to tell the fans to look for this year? Uh, whatever the team needs me. Whatever it is, they need me. They need rebound, defend, some fouls. <laughs> All right. I, mean, I just want to help the team. All right. We have two right now. I uh, just wants to know, who's your favorite player in the NBA? LeBron James. No doubt on that one. You, you excited <laughs> to see it back in Cleveland? I am. <laughs> All right. Now we'll go to Mitchell's question. Can you step back and shoot the three? And if so, do you feel comfortable enough to start shooting those this year? Uh, I'm not much of a three-point shooter. I'm more of a you know mid-range kind of guy, get to the rim kind of guy. I'm not much of a three-point shooter. But I can imagine somewhere between here and my senior year, I probably did. I ain't saying I will. Step man. back and knock one down? <laughs> probably wanted to. All right. All right. And one more. Have you had your – there it pops up. Have you had your welcome to Ball Nation moment? Somebody said, I know you. I have. 
I have. And it was great, but it wasn't like, you know, right all the moment. It was just like happy to see the shit here and stuff like that. And I'm great. Well, thank you very much for coming up and joining us and talking to the fans and answering some questions from them live. I know they're looking forward to seeing you out on the court this season. All right. Good. Thank you very much. Hello. Now we bring senior guard Brandon Lopez, another Knoxville guy to the set. Brandon, How welcome. Doing? Welcome to our Google Plus Hangout fans. Again, if you have a question, just type it in on the right side of your screen. Brandon will answer a few. I'll answer a few of mine right now. Talk to you about this with Galen being a Knoxville guy. What does it mean to put on that orange and white? It's a blessing. It's a true blessing. You know, I've always dreamed of playing for Tennessee since I was a young kid at Sam Moore Green. At least not, you know, it's really a blessing. You've been able to get out there and, and play some key minutes over the years. Does that sort of turn it up a notch when you're able to get out there and, and really give your all for Tennessee? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, I've always grown up playing hard, but when I really get my chance, I do try to play as hard as I possibly can. What's the transition been like going to Coach Tindall? You know, you've been here for years now. What's it been like getting to know your coach? It was good. You know, it was a smooth transition because Coach Tindall is such a good, nice, passionate guy. So it wasn't too tough. That passion we saw right here in this room when he was introduced as head coach, talking to Vol Nation. When you're sitting over there as a player when a new coach is being introduced, what's going through your mind? I mean, you know, we was nervous at first. Like, when he was hired, we immediately Google his stats and everything. First thing we seen, he was a winner, so he was automatically good. Is that the first thing you were looking for? You, you know, just is this guy one? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then he turned to the players during that press conference and said, you know, I want to make this about you guys. What did that say to you when you're sitting there thinking about that? It means a lot because, you know, he lets us know that he really cares about us. We're just like his sons. He treats us just like family. Here's a question from the fans. Why'd you change your number this year? Uh, number 33 is, is for my friend, Philip Tukey Stanford. He passed away. He committed suicide my freshman year in college. So I decided to dedicate this year. You know, so I, that's why I changed my number. I know he was a local Knoxville basketball legend. What was your relationship like there? That was one of my best friends. You know, we all grew up playing basketball together. Dre Matthews plays in Minnesota. He introduced me to him. And we just, like, hit it off from there. All right. That's good for that question. What do you want fans to know about this team going into this season? Uh, this team plays hard. Plays very, very hard and very, very passionate. I think they're real surprising. Yeah. What's the best thing about running out of the stands and see, running out of the tunnel and seeing the stands full of fans? Just excited, you know. Just to see like the excitement and the passion and all these things. They just get an opportunity to play basketball. Every night. I asked your teammate what was his welcome to Tennessee moment. I know you've been around on campus. What was your welcome to Tennessee moment? Uh, Made it real for you. It's been a while, but I would have to say running out in that tunnel the first game. Yeah, it was like, wow, I'm playing like a Tennessee ball when I'm playing college basketball. You've watched it all your life. You've been there. What was it like the first time you saw yourself on TV? Uh, it was a, it was a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was kind of nervous, but like I first played on ESPN when I was like I think I was 17 at Christ School. Okay. So it was it was different, but at the same time it's still basketball. Yeah. Do you go home and watch your games on TV? Do you, do you DVR them and go back and watch them? Sometimes, but it's mainly like film sessions. I don't really focus on myself. I try to focus on it. All right, Brandon, we appreciate you coming Thanks. up to us. Good luck this season. We look forward to seeing you. Thank that. you. I appreciate it. Go Vols. It's Brandon Lopez, assistant coach Al Pinkins. He has SEC experience at Ole Miss. Tennessee plays football this weekend. Al Pinkins comes to Tennessee from Ole Miss. He will join us next here on the Tennessee Basketball Media Day Google Plus Hangout. I'm Brian Rice, live from the court here at Pratt Pavilion. Head coach Johnny Tindall had his press conference earlier this afternoon. Was full coverage of that and a full video of that will be up on utsports.com later this afternoon. We're now joined on the set by assistant coach Al Pinkins. Coach, welcome to Tennessee. Welcome to the set here of our Google Plus Hangouts. Thank you. Glad to be here. You have SEC experience from Ole Miss. Tell me about that transition. Well, you know, being in the league, uh, you know, Donnie and I, we get a chance to talk about recruiting. Uh, you know, about different teams in the league, strategies, and, uh, you know, it's a plus for being in here three years, getting to, you know, play against teams twice. Uh, they can help. Helps really helps. All right, fans. If you have a question, you feel free to put it up on the right hand side of the screen. We'll get to as many as we can. Coach, I know the. It's not a Tennessee question necessarily, but I know a lot of fans have asked me on Twitter, what was it like, uh, with Marshall Anderson? Marshall, it was you know, <laughs> day to day. Uh, but one one thing I must say about Marshall is he really liked playing. He was a competitor. 
uh, you know, he, he got in trouble off the court and did some things he shouldn't have done. You know, we all, we're aware of that. But, yeah. You know, the kid was a competitor. He liked to play, he liked to practice. Uh, he was a good player for two years over at Ole Miss. How do you teach that passion to some of your other players and say, this is this is a, a passionate way of playing the game with it to a certain extent? You know, I don't, you know, it's, it's hard to teach that passion, you know. I think guys got to have it in them. You know, either you're a passionate guy about basketball, you love basketball, or you don't, you know. And, and we, in recruiting, we try to do our research and sign guys that we think have that passion and really, really like to play basketball because to be good at this level and to do what we need you to do at this level, you got you to gotta really, really like it. you got to love it pretty much. What is that like going out on the recruiting trail and selling Tennessee? And, and what do you tell at student athletes when you're in the first stages of the recruiting process about Tennessee? You know, academics uh, have been really, really good here. And Coach Tim has graduated, you know, 23 of his last 24 seniors selling that, selling Coach Tim to the coach. You know, he's done a really good job in his last two places, Southern Miss and Morehead State, uh, and, and selling myself and other assistants. And, 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 and also what Tennessee has done in the past. You sort of answered that there. It just popped up on the screen of Mission Want to Know. What is your favorite selling point to a prospective student athlete about the University of Tennessee? You know, I think what, what Coach Tendall's done as a head coach, you know, he, he's won a ton of games, uh, two really, really hard places to win. Where, uh, a lot of people have not won. And uh, in our family environment, you know, when we get kids on campus, and you know, we've had kids on campus here, I think they feel a sense of family out here. Well, Coach, welcome to Tennessee. We've been happy to have you here so far. We look forward to seeing your magic out on the court and in the recruiting classes in the coming years. Thank you so much for joining us and talking to the fans. Thank you. It's Tennessee assistant coach Al Pingitz. We now welcome freshman forward Willie Carmichael to the set. Willie, welcome to Tennessee. Welcome to our, our Google Plus Hangout. What's been your favorite part about Tennessee so far? Um, basically, um, my teammates and the fans, basically. It's a high-energy school, of course. Um, teammates, basically, more like my family now. What has Coach Tindall been like in developing the relationship with him over these past few months? Uh, Coach Tindall been great. Uh, he's been a great coach on the court and off the court. Uh, of course, I had some family issues over the summer. Um, he, he worked me through that. I never had a coach that like worked me, worked me through things off the court. Great coach. He pushed you on the court and what was it like to put on that Tennessee jersey for the first time today? I felt great. I felt like um, all my hard work is kind of paying off. All right. There's a question from a fan. Tell us about your workouts with your strength coach. You, he says you've made major strides since you've been here. What have those workouts been like in adjusting to that in college? Um, they've been tough because in high school I didn't lift as much as I do here. Um, and Coach Ty, he pushes you hard, and we have a thing called the fueling station. Well, um, Allison, she puts protein and calories in your body and everything so you can get, get gain weight. You know, we've, fueling stations come up a lot in the football preseason. In, in, in every sport, it's certainly available to you. What is that nutrition element you've been able to add to your workouts? Um, basically, um, give me energy, basically, because I'm um, going through a day lifting weights, having practice on the class. You run out of energy, then you have practice. But the fueling station puts energy back in your body. What's it like to have that resource just right there, right off the weight room in the complex? It feels good. Um, it, it's great to have, have something right there that you can just go to when you're tired, when you're hungry, or anything. Now, lunch every day at Smokey's. I know I get to enjoy it every day. I know you guys enjoy it as much, too. What's it like to have that top-quality dining facility right there at the complex? It's amazing. I, it just made me realize how blessed we ought to be at Tennessee Basement. Never had anything bad there. How about you? Oh, uh, I haven't. I haven't either. <laughs> it's great stuff. Mitchell has a question for you. As I click that one out, we bring in Mitchell's question. Do you consider yourself more of a post-up scorer or a face-up shooter? Uh, right now, I consider myself as kind of a little bit of both, but I consider myself more as like a post-up scorer. Tell the fans a little bit more about your game. It, maybe fans haven't seen you or aren't just familiar with your recruiting profile. Um, I'm just a hard-nosed player, basically. Uh, I don't get tired at all. I love the rebound. Now, my main objective is to um, get my teammates better, get them involved into the game, and I'll come last, basically, because my main objective is to get rebounds and get my teammates better. All right. 
One more thing for you before we let you off the screen. What has been your welcome to Tennessee moment? Was it a fan recognizing you on the street or out in the mall, or, or was it the first time you got put on gear? What was your, hey, I'm actually here at the University of Tennessee. Uh, first day I came here and when we played pickup. That's the first day that um, I noticed like everyone, I'm at Tennessee, I'm here, I made it. Um, I just got to keep working hard. Well, congratulations on getting here. We look forward to seeing you out on the court this year. Thank you. Thank you. That is freshman forward Willie Carmichael the third. Now we welcome to the set junior guard Devin Bachman. Devin, welcome to the set. Hey, how you doing? Good. Brian Rice here from UTSports.com. You're on our Google Plus Hangout here on Tennessee Basketball Media Day. Fans will take your questions on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's type them in. First, Devin, just tell me about Tennessee and how, it's, how your experience has been here so far. Tennessee is, is real good. It's the kind of country. It's kind of similar back home. It's, it's bigger than my home. Uh, it's a good, good fan base. A lot of people here. It's pretty nice out here. Now you came up You're originally from Georgia, went to junior college in Florida. What has the transition been like, Georgia, Florida, now to Tennessee? Georgia, I mean, it's real hot. It's like bugs. Florida is like hot, beachy, a lot of birds. Mm -hmm. And then down here it's like cold, <laughs> real cold. Did it? We haven't even hit winter yet. It's, it's, I think it's pretty nice outside right now. I've never seen snow. They, hear, they say it's going to snow down here. It, you might have a little later in the year. But what, what do you want the fans to know most about your game on the court? Well, I'm a versatile player. I can shoot the ball, defend, handle it. I like to be coachable. Reverse, and I like to rebound. All right. I have one question from a fan so far. What NBA team and college team did you follow when you were a kid? Uh, Oklahoma State. Uh, my college team was Florida State. Okay. And so Oklahoma City I'm for Oklahoma your, City, for yeah, your Oklahoma NBA City. team. Uh, Kevin Durant guy? Yeah, I love Kevin Durant. All right. Um, what player do you sort of model your game after? Is there one, or are you, are you just bringing yourself in I, zero? Man? People say I play like, I shoot like KD, my form, my form, and I play like Wade, J.R. Smith. I mean, it's kind of. They kind of switch it up, so I, I really don't compare myself to nobody. I just play this what I can do. I mean. What was your sort of welcome to Tennessee moment? It's like, I'm here, this is real. Was it a fan maybe coming up to you and recognizing you? Was it the first day you played big up, the first time you put on something orange? What, what was it? When I first walked in this gym right here, this prep gym, I was, and I seen the beat Tennessee side, I can really believe I'm here. God, I'm really, I'm really here. I can't, it was this amazing moment for me. What was it like to put on that jersey for the first time today? I almost cried. I almost cried. It, it, it feel, I feel just excited. I mean, my mom, my mom told me just don't be over happy, but just be, be appreciative. Okay. Question from Mitchell here. Do you like having the ball in your hand as the shot clock's winding down for a game-winning shot? Yes, I love those moments. Yeah, what, what, is, what does it feel like inside when you know the ball's in your hands, the game's in your hands? In that situation, I think if you're that type of guy, in your head you should be like, I'm going to make that shot regardless. When I, when I shoot this ball, it's going in no matter what. All right. You look forward to having a couple of those this year? Yeah, this uh, I do. What's a, is there a game that you're looking most forward to this season? Uh, Florida Gate is in the Kentucky game. Okay. Are those just teams that you've grown up watching and you're familiar with, or is there somebody – Maybe that you're playing against that you're looking forward to playing against. Yeah, I have old teammates on those teams. Okay, I've been watching uh, Tennessee and Florida Gators and Texas play, and I it's really competitive. Okay. I love to compete. All right, well, Devin, we appreciate you joining us here on the Google Plus Hangout. We look forward to seeing you on the court right, this season so in Tennessee. Much. Have a blessed day. Thank you. You as well. Welcome to Tennessee. Thank you. That is junior guard Bachman. We'll be joined in just a moment by senior guard Ian Childs. I'm Brian Rice from UTSports.com, hosting this Google Plus Hangout for Tennessee Basketball Media Day. And we now do welcome Ian Childs to the set. Ian, welcome to Tennessee. Hey, glad to be here. Right, fans, if you have a question for Ian, you can put it in the right-hand side of your screen. he will answer it live on air. Ian, I know you're familiar with Tennessee a little bit. Right. Your sister playing here in softball. I'd you heard a little bit. Just tell us about that family connection. My sister played softball here from 03 to 07. And she was an All-American, both academic and athletic. And she loved it here. The fans loved it. 
and they still do. I know she may be, she was well known for a lot of things she did on the field, but possibly most well known for playing in the College World Series with a torn ACL. Yeah, she played in that last game of the uh, World Series with a torn ACL. And it was just it was just amazing. The coach still to this day said he said seen not, not never seen anything like it. I know most of the fans hadn't back then. Tell us about your game. What you were gonna bring this basketball team this season. Uh, this season I'll bring whatever coach center wants me to uh whether it's at the point guard, shooting guard or whatever he wants. What was it like developing a relationship? Coach Tyndall, and, and ultimately you ending up here at Tennessee. Um, relationship with Coach Tyndall was easy. He's the guy, you know, straightforward guy, and that's what I liked out of him. So, is that what appealed to you most about the University of Tennessee to play this one final season of your college career? Right. This is the staff that I wanted to play for, and I know Coach Tyndall's going to push each and every day to make me. Better. Is there a game on the schedule that you're looking most forward to this season? Nah, take one game at a time. What What has it been like in practice so far? You're getting acclimated to your teammates in a full team setting now that you guys are able to go every day. Right, right. Um, we got a team of guys that come in, um, want to get better each, each and every day. All right, Ian. We thank you very much. We have one one question before we let you go. Okay. What attracted you most to Coach Tindall's style of play? That up tempo style of play, I love it. Just to get up and down, get into the, get into the off, off, offensive player on defense. You know, a bunch of steals. Um, I just love it. High scoring games. Well, I know the fans are looking forward to being you, it, to having you in that system this year. Welcome to Tennessee, and thank you so much. For All right, thanks. That is Ian Childs. Ian Childs joining us here, live from Media Day here on our Google Plus Hangout for Tennessee basketball. I'll be joined next by assistant coach Chris Schulmate, who was a thousand point scorer at Murray State. Step on up to the table here, Sorry. Coach. You're good. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you very Welcome. much. Welcome. Fans, if you have a question for Coach, feel free to type it in on the right hand side of your screen. Coach, first, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background coming here to Tennessee. Um, coaching wise, I got I got my start in Division Two Bellarmine in Louisville, Kentucky. I did that for a year, and then went on to work for McClellan University of Cincinnati for six years. Uh, it was a great experience. Free NCAA tournaments, the Sweet 16. Um, helped rebuild the program there with, with Coach Brown. I went to Southern Miss with Coach Tindall for a year. Won Conference USA Championship last year, which was a blast. And then came here this spring. Your thousand point score when you were in college at Murray State, you've been dropping some uh, dimes on these guys. No, they're a lot better than I was. I just accidentally <laughs> threw it in the bucket a few times, but uh, we've got a good group of kids. They're very coachable and a lot of fun to work with. What's been your favorite part about being at Tennessee so far? Um, you know, just the passion of the fan base and, and just people around town and the university has such a buzz uh, about it, and it's it's such a, a fun environment and community to live in. I know you worked with Coach Sindel last year. What appeals to you most about him? What is it about his personality? Uh, he's, he's a great guy, first and foremost. Uh, really cares about his players uh, and his team and his staff. And, and it's it's a lot of fun to just, just come to work with him every day, knowing we're fighting the same battles and, and, and striving to, to, to be, you know, win as many games as we possibly can and get these guys better every single day. Question from a fan we'll put up. How long have you known Coach Sindel and how did you guys meet and become connected? Uh, first time I met Coach Tindall, I was actually a player at date, and he was an assistant at Middle Tennessee. We're both from the OBC. Um, the guy that recruited me to Murray State, a guy named Jim Hatfield, was the head coach at Mississippi State back in, the, I think, 70s or 80s. And Coach Kermit Davis at Middle Tennessee played for Coach Hatfield at Mississippi State. So Coach Tindall, having worked for Coach Davis, um, those those two together, and then myself and Coach Hatfield, we kind of you know before the game or after shoot around or something in the morning is when we first met. But when Coach Tindall was at Moorhead, um, since I played at Murray State, um, obviously followed the OBC and Cincinnati's not too far from Moorhead, a few hours away. So we we talk about different players, and, um, and I'm also from the state of Kentucky, so we just stay in touch. And you know I knew several several guys that went to play for him. Um, and, and some of his assistant coaches, and, and just kind of the relationship evolved. And, and uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to get the opportunity to join the staff. We had a question about this earlier when Coach Pinkins joined us, but what is it? What is the biggest thing that you sell about Tennessee when you go out on the recruitment trail? What is the one that you, you can convey? Uh, well, one thing that's that we really 
you know, try and sell is is the attendance that we're going to have in Thompson Bowl. Like that. You know, 18, 19,000 fans every day. Uh, the passion of fan base, like I said, and, and facilities are, are second to none. Um, it's, it's incredible. I was extremely blown away when I got here and was able to look around. Um, it, it's it's just it's a heck of a place to be. And a great following, great fan base, and people are really passionate about the University of Tennessee. Coach, one yeah. more question before we let you go. What are you most looking forward to this year? Is it a game? Is it a moment? What is it this season that you're most looking forward to? I think with, with so many new, new guys and mixing with, with the returning guys and some, you know, those guys being a bit more veterans, um, the thing that I'm looking most forward to is seeing them grow, seeing some of these younger guys grow, seeing a guy like Armani Moore step up into an upperclassman role and really take a leadership position and, and, and kind of you know bring some of these other guys along and watch, watch these guys um, that are new and then maybe some guys that haven't played as much in the, in the past. Um, them getting the opportunity to play and, and grow as players and just see them get better every single day, knowing that the majority of them will be returning and, and the whole process of getting better every day and, and, and watching these guys grow. All right, Coach, thank you very much appreciate for joining it. us. Welcome to Tennessee. We look forward to thank seeing you on the board. I appreciate it. That is Tennessee Chris, uh, Chris, Assistant Coach Chris Schumann. We're now joined by junior forward Derek Reese. Derek, step on up to the stage. How you doing? Good, good. Brian Rice with UTSports.com now joined by Derek Reese. If you have a question, type it in on the right-hand side, and we will get to as many as we can. Derek, first of all, I've been talking to a bunch of new guys. You're a mm -hmm. returner. Mm -hmm. What's it been like to get acclimated with all these new guys on the team? It's a, it's a crazy transition. You know, it's a lot. The you know, whole coach staff and other players, a lot of chemistry you got to try to work on. But it's been good. It's been a good, it's been a good experience. All right, take our first question from a fan. How do you feel about playing in the post versus on the wing? Playing in the post, you know, it's, it's completely different from, the game, from my game. I'm used to being on the, on the, on the wing, but it kind of helps you know, at the same time for being versatile. Uh, I can use certain different moves I use on the, on the wing, I use in the post. So it kind of just helps me be more versatile. So. All right. Part of that, having to play down there, has been the strength and conditioning development. What's the offseason strength program been like, you know, getting used to a new strength coach? Oh, yeah, with Ty, you know, he's really he's pushing us really hard in the weight room. You know, we, go, we go three days a week, uh, including practice and conditioning. Uh, it's really hard, but, like, it's helping us everyone's gain weight and get stronger, and I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger, too. Is there something – you're really looking forward to the season? Is it a game? Is it developing something new in your game? What are you most looking forward to going out on the court this season? Uh, just being more consistent. That's that's something that I really focus on and realize how I was before the last couple of years. Just being more consistent in my game and being able to help my team. Win. You feel like you have to bring that with so many new guys being on that you they have to know what they're going to get? Yeah, I have to be a leader, so I have to, I have to set an example. What's it been like? I've been asking these guys what's it been like to put the jersey on for the first time. But what is it to represent that Tennessee and Boston Chess? It's, uh, it's something, it's a privilege, you know, because the fans here, they love us. They love basketball, they love Tennessee basketball. Um, it's something that, you know, I always remember, you know, growing up or, or when I get older. And so now I tell my kids one day, you know, just playing, being able to play in the SEC, being able to play in Tennessee, being able to be able to be playing in front of these fans. You know, it's a great experience. What has been developing a relationship with Coach Tindall like? Uh, it's uh, it's been easy, you know. Uh, uh in a small world. My AU coaches were coached by him. And he was like, whenever in college, yeah. so uh, they told me how it was and stuff. So it was an easy transition. It went too bad. When you were sitting right over there during his introductory press conference, what was going through your mind as he was speaking to the media, but also speaking to you all for the first time? Just I uh, just wanted to hear what he what he was going to say, and I was just curious you know, how things were going to be, you know, how packs were going to be, and. Uh, uh, I did my research before and realized, you know, everywhere he's gone, you know, he's won. So, like, I really expect him for that. That's something that Brandon Lopez said as well, that, you know, you guys were just impressed that he was a winner. Does that, mm -hmm. When somebody brings that resume, does it just bring in some credibility to everything they're saying? Oh, yeah, it does. It makes it easier for a transition, you know. You get to understand who he is. If you brought someone who's completely new, you know, kind of maybe been a little skeptical, you know, just trying to, wonder, trying to figure out how he was, how he's going to coach. But, you know, we know what he does is it wins games. So we feel like we can do the same thing here. All right, we'll take a couple of questions here. First from Mitchell. Do you feel like your shooting has improved since last year? Yes, it really has. I've really been focusing on that in the summer, trying to come in uh, at night after practice and stuff, trying to get, trying to be more consistent in my shot. Okay, we'll take one more fan question before we let you off the hot seat. Have you taken any of the newcomers under your wing 
to help teach them about Tennessee, not just Tennessee basketball, but Tennessee in general? Um, when um, Willie first got here, we were from the same area. He's from Apopka, Orlando, which is about 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away, you know. I showed him everything that we need to go, you know, where, where the best place to be at, and just try to help him out when he first got here. All right. Well, I had I almost said welcome to Tennessee. <laughs> we're looking forward to getting, seeing you back out there for another season, Derek, and good luck this season as you help lead this group of newcomers out on the court. All right, thank you. That is Derek Reese, a junior here at the University of Tennessee. We're now joined by freshman forward Tariq Owens. Tariq, step on up. The leading shot blocker in practice scrimmages. What's that like so going up? A guy comes into your lane and you're just swatting out of the way. What's it like? Being a shot blocker, uh, it's fun. You know, it smacks by a shot out of bounds that they thought was going to go. It's like it's like a, a moment of just crushing somebody's dream. Is <laughs> so that your favorite part about playing the game? Yeah, definitely blocking shots. Crushing dreams. Yeah. But just beyond that, tell, us, tell the fans a little bit about your game and, and what you can do. Not just blocking shots, but defensively, offensively. Uh, defensively, uh, high energy. I love playing defense, rebounding, blocking shots. Uh, just some, it's something about stopping the other team from scoring that. I really, it's really fun. That's that's my favorite part of the game: defense, offensively, uh, crash, rebound. You know, go for putbacks, dunk. Things of that nature, you know, anything to do on the offense and to really help our team win. I have a question from a fan. The most shots you have blocked in a game in your career? Uh, most shots I've blocked in a game in my career, 15. 15? You looking to add to that uh, this year? Definitely. I want to break that one day. <laughs> what was it like the first time you put on that Tennessee jersey here this afternoon? It, it felt good to. To wear my my game jersey, you know, with my name, with my last name on the back of it, it really it really feels good, you know, working hard for something and, and really achieving. Was that your welcome to Tennessee moment? A couple of guys talked about walking in Pratt for the first time, maybe the first scrimmage with teammates. Was it somebody recognizing you on the street? What did what was the first time you said, "Wow, I'm here at Tennessee"? My first time saying, "Wow, I'm here at Tennessee" is. The first time I went and talked to Coach Tindall in his office, when I got here, I went and talked to Coach Tindall. He really welcomed me to the school, and we were talking about uh, what it's going to be like playing here. And then in my head, I just realized, I said, wow, I'm really sitting here at Tennessee getting ready to you know, start my co collegiate basketball career. I have to take a couple questions from fans here. Tell us about your jersey number 11. Where did that come from? Jersey number 11, there's two reasons why I wear number 11. Okay. A lot of people say their favorite number is number one, or number 11 has two number ones. That's why <laughs> I believe it's the best. And then my dad wore number 11 when he played basketball, so that's really why where I get it from. It's not because you're tall and skinny, right? No, not at all. Justin Hunter had that when he was here. He was number 11. He said he picked number 11 because it resembled his body type. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All uh, right. Mitchell asks, what's more fun, blocking a shot out of bounds or grabbing the shot out of midair and pushing it up the floor? Uh, what's more fun? Shot out of bounds. Like, just the feeling of blocking somebody's shot, the ball goes flying out of bounds. It, really, it gives you that, that moment to get hyped with your teammates, to, to really celebrate you know, everybody having fun. That's when you really get to see uh, your teammates having fun in the game with you get that little, that tiny little break after sending the shot out of bounds. All right, well, I mentioned it in the number discussion. You're long and lean. What's it been like getting in that college strength and conditioning program for the first time? It's been it's been good. It's tough. You know, workouts are, are tough, but you get through them. And at the end of the day, it feels good to be able to go in the weight room and know that I'm getting stronger and know that I'm gaining weight a little bit. A couple of guys talked about the Big Orange Fuel Station right off the main weight room up at the football complex and Allison Maurer and, and programs that she sets up. What's it like having that as a resource to fuel your body? Because you know you're getting stronger in the weight room, but that's going to help you in your recovery to get even stronger, even quicker. Having the fueling station, there, it's a great resource, you know, after we go, we go to lift, and then after we lift, we can go see Allison and 
she really helps us out with our shades and what we need to to put back in our body what we just took out by by lifting with Coach Tom. What about eating lunch every day at Smokies? You enjoy that? Oh, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about it earlier. I, I've never had anything bad there. What's been your favorite thing that you've had at Smokies since you've been there? My favorite? Yeah. Uh, the buffalo chicken wraps. I get one every day. Yeah. They're, they're really, they're really, they have a lot of flavor, and they're really hot. I like hot things. Well, welcome to Tennessee. We look forward to seeing you on the court this season. We'll let you go and get back to meeting the horde of media that's out there getting ready to talk to you. But good luck as practice continues. We look forward to seeing you out on the first day. Jay, thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. That is freshman forward Tariq Owens. We're now joined by sophomore forward Dominique Woodson. Step on up. Don't be afraid to get close. Fans, if you have a question for Dominique, then just put it in the right-hand side of your screen. We'll get to as many as we can. First, welcome to Tennessee. What was it like putting on the jersey for the first time today? Um, it was it was it was nice. I like it. You know, it feels different to be Adidas. You know, from Nike to Adidas. What uh was your sort of welcome to Tennessee moment where you realized, hey, I'm here. This is real. Um, was it your first scrimmage? Was yeah, it your first? It was my lift? first practice. Okay. My first lift and my first practice. I was really like, wow, I'm really I'm really here now. What's that strength conditioning program been like? Has it been a big adjustment for you? Has it been easy for you? Is it's, it's, it's been good for me because I like it, you know, lifting every day, every other day, and, and, and lifting strong weights and tough weights. It's been different for me. Obviously, you're a big guy. Tell the fans a little bit about your game and what they can expect to see from you on court this season. Uh, my game, I like to play inside, and then I can take a foot. I can take a 15-footer every now and then, but inside mostly is what I like to do. This team's not as big as maybe some past teams have been. What, what do you see your role having to be filling that in the middle of the lane? Um, I, feel, I feel like it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be good for me because, you know, playing, playing inside and being a big presence is, is what some teams need. Uh, I was just talking to Sri, he's talking about blocking shots and how good that feels. You been known to throw a couple back in your day? <laughs> Back in my day, yeah, Tariq is a, he's a great shot blocker. <laughs> does that give a team energy when a guy just swats a shot away on defense, and yeah, he, even if you don't get the ball back? It does. It gives it gives a lot of energy because because you get hype and then everybody starts yelling and then it just, it just feels good. What's it been like developing your relationship with, with Coach Tindall, both on the recruiting trail now that you're here at Tennessee? Um, it, my relationship with Coach Tindall has been good, you know. Him, him, he's a straightforward person. He's going to let you know how how you're doing good and how you're doing bad, and then he's going to let you know everything about yourself. All right, we have a question from a fan. What attracted you to Tennessee from the other side of the state? Did anybody give you a hard time about coming to Tennessee? Um, my people told me don't go there because, you know, because of the t- Tennessee-Memphis rival. But other than that, I really didn't get any type of, like, you know, hard time about it. What's it? How different is it to come from that side of the state to this side of the state? Is it people, the weather, the basketball environment? What's what are the, what's the biggest difference? The difference the difference I see is that Knoxville is more of a college town, and Memphis is more Memphis is more like a city. Well, anything else you want to tell the fans? We got we have one more question, and then I'll get to what you want to tell the fans. Josh wants to know. What's one tradition you like or have begun now that you've been at Tennessee? Is there a prep tradition? Is it? It's really not. It's really not any traditions that I've seen that I like. Do you have any, any sort of pregame rituals that you always go through? You always listen to the same song. You get set in the locker room. Yeah, the I, do, I do the same. I listen to the same song every before every game. Does it get you hyped or does it get you relaxed? I know people people do both. So. It, it, it does both for me. It gets me relaxed and, and hype at the same time. What's the one thing this season you're looking most forward to? Is it running out on the court the first time, is it facing another team? Um, the one thing I'm looking forward to is playing in, in Thompson Bourne Arena and, and just seeing what the fans is like. All right, Dominic, we appreciate you coming on with us. Welcome to Tennessee. We're glad that you're here. We're in the right color in the state of Tennessee. And good luck this season. Thank you. Thank All right. Thank you very much. That's our last guest. We thank you for joining us this inaugural run of the Google Plus uh, Hangout.
here from Tennessee Basketball Media Day. I'm Brian Rice. Remember, you can get your tickets all season long at UTTix.com. There's some great mini plans and some great holiday packages, all sorts of different promotions going on right now at UTTix.com. Follow us on Twitter at Vol underscore Hoops. You can follow me on Twitter at Brian C. Rice. Also, Vol Hoops on Instagram, Vol underscore Hoops. That's going to wrap things up. We will see you at Thompson Bowling Arena this season all season long. Be sure you join us. It's going to be an exciting year here for Tennessee basketball. So long, everybody.